in this problem, we're being given a line segment with one endpoint. We've got the coordinates for that. A point that we're told is the midpoint, and we've got the coordinates for that. And then another endpoint, and we're supposed to find the coordinates of that endpoint. Before, we've used the midpoint formula to find a midpoint, the coordinates for the midpoint, when we have the endpoints. But what do we do now when we have the midpoint, but we don't have one of the endpoints? Well, we're still going to use that midpoint formula, just in a slightly different way. You know, what the midpoint formula said is if I take this x-coordinate and this x-coordinate here, these two, and I divide it by 2, I get this. And that's, that's this part, what this is saying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this chunk of the formula, x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and I'm going to set it equal to this x-coordinate we have for our midpoint, which is negative 2. And then I'm going to plug in uh, the value that we already have, which is x1 is 2. So this is 2 plus x2 over 2 equals negative 2. Now, if I solve this for x2, I will have the x-coordinate of our endpoint. So let's see. We've got a fraction over here. I think I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of that fraction. So these 2s will cancel. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So we'll get a negative 4 over here, and we'll get 2 plus x2. To get the x2 alone, I just have to subtract 2 from both sides, and I get x2 equals negative 6. Now let's try the same thing with the, the y part of the formula. y1 is negative 2. So I'll just put that in right away. Negative 2 plus y2 over 2, that's this whole chunk right here, equals the y-coordinate of our midpoint, which is 1. Again, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to begin to get rid of this fraction. Here they cancel, so I get negative 2 plus y2 equals 1 times 2 is 2. And to get the y2 alone, I just have to add 2 to both sides. So I get y2 equals 4. So our point, then, is negative 6, comma, 4. So that's how to kind of use the midpoint formula in reverse to find an endpoint when you have the midpoint.